the quality and equality of education face significant challenges. Many children leave primary education without sufficient reading and mathematics skills. There are also worries that performance levels increasingly depend on the family you're raised in or the school you attend. Not all children perform the same. Some obtain high results, while others struggle to truly grasp how these differences come about and can be reduced. This dissertation studies three key factors influencing pupils' performance. Schools, families, and genes. Traditionally, nature and nurture are seen as distinct explanations. Nature refers to inherited genes shaping the positive and negative abilities that affect performance. Think of intelligence and ADHD. Nurture is the influence of our environment, experiences, and upbringing, such as the influence of parents and schools. However, it's not a solo act. It's a duet. A dynamic dance unfolds between nature and nurture, shaping how children perform in education. Let's explore this dance and understand how schools, families, and genes shape educational performance. We compare the similarity in educational performance of identical and fraternal twins. Identical twins have the same genetic makeup, moving in sync due to their identical DNA. Fraternal twins share about half of their genes, creating a partly different rhythm. By comparing the similarity in performance between the two twin types, we can separate nature and nurture. In the grand performance of life, these twin pairs dance through various environments, which may increase or decrease genetic and environmental differences. Some go to a school environment where support is scarce. Others are in an enriched environment. Here, there are plenty of resources that could foster skill development. A positive learning climate with good teachers who have high expectations and talented classmates who can have a positive influence on the skills and motivation of their peers. We discovered that in more enriched school settings, pupils perform more similarly. Differences in educational performance related to family background and genes are smaller in advantageous school environments. This shows that schools compensate for educational inequality. What is it about these enriched environments that reduce inequality? Although the importance of quality differences between schools is often emphasized, we find that the classroom environment and socioeconomic composition of the school are more relevant for reducing educational inequality. So, let's shift our focus to the aspects that turn out to matter most. In that way, we can work towards a leveled educational playing field, where every pupil can confidently take center stage and express their own talents.